What is up, guys? My name is Olivia, also known as Jetlag Live, and I'm currently converting a 2003 Ford Econoline 150 into a tiny home on wheels. Today comes a very important part of this conversion, which is the fan. Um, yeah, so we purchased a Max, what's the name of it, babe? Max Air Max Fan Deluxe? Mick Deluxe. It's called a Max Fan Deluxe. Max Fan, so Max Air Max Fan Deluxe. Basically, the ability of this one is not only can it take air out with exhaust, but it can reverse and bring cool air in, which is why we are placing it directly above our couch bed situation which is also what the light is hardcore reflecting on um so let's get this very intimidating project underway let's do it So we are cleaning the surface, just getting all the metal into our box that we set up to catch everything. Saw that hack on YouTube. And now what we're gonna do is take a Rust-Oleum paint and just touch up the edges since it's, you know, raw metal exposed to the elements. And then we are putting this puppy on. We got some uh, butyl tape to fill in these rivets here to make it flush and up and level. And then we're going to be putting some lap sealant on and we've got a fan, ladies and gents. Super exciting. <laughs> Great angle. It's perfect 14 by 14. All right. Too bad that this and entire box of metal shards just fell in promise, on our bed. I so that's- I promise I didn't do that. That's fun. You're full of it. All right, so what we did was we stuffed this long roll of butyl tape. I'll link it below. And we're raising these va <laughs> Hi! We're raising these uh, valleys up so it's kind of even. And then we are going to be installing this puppy. Hey, this is a pretty nice cut, isn't it? It Mine's sure perfect. is. Look at that. Cut creds. 14. Cut creds. Okay, I love that. I think that's good. Right. And then we can make it kind of lush. I trust you. I have, yep. Action. It's getting so hot, it's like melt. So the direction said to mark the area of the flange and just kind of trace around it. So you know where to put the lap sealant or, you know, the sealant of your choice. We're doing self-leveling, self-leveling decor lap sealant. So let's do it. What did you do? Lap sealant around the outer edge in addition to the one underneath. And then you put it on the screw heads. She's Florida proof, baby. I'd put it through a hurricane if I could. Just kidding. Yikes. We just spent the past 
9.30. Four hours? Past four hours installing this stupid, ugly, actually it's pretty. <laughs> This fan better do wonders. I've heard that it's necessary, but it is a bitch and a half. We are exhausted. We're drinking. My mom went on a Starbucks run for us, which I don't know. We probably shouldn't have gone right to coffee because we are dehydrated. It's probably yeah, with the with the sun. It's probably like I'd say 85, 85 to 88 real feel. But there's a breeze every seven hours. Um, but honestly, being up on the roof, crouching. I mean, look at me. I can't even sit upright for this video. <laughs> it is so hard. And we're not even finished yet. We're almost done. Honestly, I don't know. I watched a bunch of videos. Nobody had this problem. It has to be something with our ribs and how we use the butyl tape to level them out. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm gonna show you guys what we have so far because she looks good. We cannot get these holes to line up. You guys, we did it. I am sitting on my couch under my brand new fan in my very own Ford A150. Things are really coming along, you guys. Um, but on that note, I'm exhausted because of getting things to this point. It has taken a lot of work. It's... This project today kicked my butt. Kicked Seth's too, which he's at work now. I was able to finish that last screw and get them to line up. Um, if you have a similar problem, the hole needed levering instead of pushing down on the, you know, expensive fan. It needed levering so that you could then screw the holes in to, me, to um, secure it. So, <laughs> this thing was not easy. Um, gosh, there was hardly any cloud coverage. Completely wiped. Definitely dehydrated. Um, but I think I'm going to call it a day. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you want to show support for our van build, you can subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you can join the crew and of course give this video a big fat thumbs up and if you want to take it in, uh, take it a little bit further you can always join our family on patreon and help support this build and get exclusive content and stuff like that but either way thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate it i uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna go grab a beer and relax <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.